Hello, and welcome to another wonderful Wired Wednesday. My name is Ashley, and this is the RV3000 Baker Kit. So this here is my friend RV3000. So what he is, is he's a robot, and he codes. So what he does is he connects to either a computer or a tablet, and you go to a website, and then you put markers inside of him. His head just opens up, and the markers go right inside the top here. And then what he does is he actually draws out what you've told him to do by running his program. RD is a great starting tool for teaching kids how to code because what they're seeing is they're actually making the program and then they're actually having him do what they're telling him to. So that's the beginnings of coding. So this here is the quick start guide for RD3000. This just goes through all the steps of how to get RD to run his program. So the first step is to power RD on. So we're just going to open up his head here. It just kind of clicks open. And then just inside, you can see that there is a, a switch. So with that switch, we're just going to set it to the on position and you'll see a light come on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go into our settings. So I'm on an Apple iPad. Uh, if you're on Android, it'd still be um, settings as well. It still looks like a gear. It just looks a little bit different than this, but we're just gonna go in here and we're gonna go into our Wi-Fi settings. So my Wi-Fi settings are up here, as you can see already. So you may have your own network already uh, connected on here, um, but what you want to do is you want to actually connect to Artie's network. So on a computer or a tablet, you're going to connect to Artie via the Wi-Fi. So you can see here that I've connected and it's Artie 7D72 and there's a check mark next to it. I'm connected. So we know that Artie is connected and ready to go. So now we're going to get out of that and we're going to go into our web browser. So once again, I'm on an iPad, so I'm using Safari. If you're on an Android device, it's probably Google Chrome that you're going to use. So we're going to click that. And then we're going to go up here, and then the website that we're going to type into the URL is local.codewithardy.com. So there it is there. So once you get in here, this is what it looks like. So there's a few things you can do. So you can start off, you have your toolbox here. And what you're going to do is you're going to just drag and drop over uh, what you'd like to do into programs. So you can go over here, you just drag, move it, and you can just drop it. And then you can choose what to do. So you can say move, and you can go forward. Uh, back, uh, and then you can choose how much by how much, and then you can change it from inches to millimeters as well. So you can do that. Um, pen up, pen down. So that means you have a marker that goes inside Artie that will draw underneath him, and it'll put the pen up when it needs to and put the pen down when it needs to. And then you can have it repeat as well. Um, you can have him turn, I'll just bring this one over here. You can have him turn left and right if you'd like. So turn left, turn right, and then you can choose how many degrees it is. And if you start doing stuff and you're like, eh, I don't really like how this is going, um, you can actually clear it and then it'll just clear it for you. So I'm going to hit clear. So then across the top, you'll see there's a few different things. There's a simulate button. There's one here that makes things a, a big screen. Uh, the green Wi-Fi button is just to say that Artie's connected to the Wi-Fi. You have a settings area. So just like you can do that and you can add uh, a Wi-Fi network onto there if you'd like. Uh, you can choose your language. Um, you can choose a different type of um, coding that you'd like to do with Artie. because there's different types that you can do here. Um, as well. And then you can go over here. So say, for example, you're like, I don't really want to, um, you know, do my own coding today. I kind of just want to draw something pretty, like have already draw something cool. Um, you can go here and I'm going to hit, so I'm going to go into the save, the save button. So they have save, save as new program, delete program, etc. You go down and then they have artwork down here. So I'm going to hit the Mandela one. And it says you have unsaved changes, which will be lost if I had something in the programs, which I don't. And I'll say, okay. And then if you look here, this is it. So now I'm going to actually have Artie run this program. Stay tuned. So now we're going to stick Artie's marker in his head. Um, if you look at the very bottom of Artie, you'll see that there's like a little plastic piece. You just pull that off um, and then that way the marker can go through to actually draw. And you want to put it in just like this. That way you can just see just the tip of it hanging out of Artie's bottom there. Now that we have Artie sitting on this piece of paper, we're going to start his program. And you can see here that Artie has started doing his program. So you can see on the actual iPad here that it's going through each step that is there for him to do for the coding. You can see that he's just moving around on this little eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and he's making a mandala for us. So once it's done, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. And as you see here, this is Artie's finished mandala. And then I also had him do a star as well, so you can remember you can see that. So that's Artie 3000 available with your library card, and it's part of our library of things. Have a great day.